we're going. This is exciting. Hi everyone. Um, welcome to my, my YouTube channel. Uh, so let's do a brief introduction. My name is Gabby. Uh, I'm 22 years old. I live in London, if you can't tell by my voice. Uh, and I just love books. I have always loved books from when I was little. Then education got in the way, which I took very seriously and I worked very hard for a very long time, as a lot of us do. Um, and for, over the last couple of years, I've just got massively back into reading and have managed to find the time to do it in my life again. So um, hopefully, you'll be seeing some more book stuff from me here. So let's get into the book haul. This month, which is May, I have come into possession of quite a few books. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in this pile here. Um, I got probably about half of them using a book voucher, um, plus a bit of my own money on top of it. Um, and some of them I got really cheap from uh, some local garden centres which do books for like a couple of quid each. Um, so they have stickers on, <laughs> um, which is awful. But so yeah, I thought I'd just go through some of these books and hopefully once I start reading them, um, be able to give some updates as well about what I think. Um, cause I do update on Twitter, but I forget, uh, I'm not very good at using Twitter and I don't often post on my Instagram either. So I'm just a bit of a nana, um, when it comes to social media. Uh, so I thought I could do it here and it's so much easier to talk about books than it is to write. Um, I find myself talking to myself out loud about books a lot of the time as well, cause I've got no one else to talk to about them. Um, so now I can watch myself talk about them and um, have a conversation with myself. Okay, let's start with what we've got here. Um, let's start with the ones I got from the garden centre because they're probably less likely to be new and exciting. Um, so the first one I got is Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. And I knew I know this is a film and I don't know, but I feel like the film isn't like, people say it's not that good. I might have that completely wrong. It might be one of the best films I've ever made. But I really wanted to read one of Jess Vandermeer's books because I've heard people say they're just nuts. Um, and sometimes that's amazing and makes for an incredible book. Or sometimes it's just a bit like, what am I doing? What am I reading? What's going on? And it is just, it's too far and it's not enjoyable. So I'm excited to see what this is about. And if you don't know, it's about um, a kind of mysterious, area where things just people go missing and i think it's a bit like area 51 inspired um and then a team of all women go to this area area x um to try and find out some more things about it and why nobody ever comes back so hopefully this is done well um i'll see and it's, it's not very long so i mean what is it a couple of couple hundred pages, less than 200 pages. So I'll probably fly through this in a couple of days. So hopefully I'll have an update on this soon. Um, next is um, Record of a Space Born Few by Becky Chambers. And I know people rave about Becky Chambers' books. And I think this is like one of three. Um, and people rave about them. They love them. I think it's sort of like soft sci-fi that's quite lovely and kind of magical more than like the world is ending sort of thing um and i think this is the second i think this is the second or third one it's definitely not the first one but i've checked and you don't have to have read the first one to be able to read this one i think they're loosely set i think there's like quite a loose crossover in setting or time but you don't have to so this might open up a whole new world for me um, which would be really good because I love I love finding new things so I'm really excited about this. Um, the next book I got I've never heard of this before. It's called it's called Survivor by Chuck Balanuik Balanuk something. 
It really annoys me people can't pronounce names because I always think that looks so obvious to how do you pronounce that? But I'm sure someone's thinking about, thinking the same thing about me trying to pronounce this. But um, this sounded, at first of all, I just kind of, the cover didn't draw me in. I wasn't really interested, but then I read the back and it sounds really good. Um, so we have Tender Branson. Um, he's the last five member of a cult and he hijacks a plane um, because he wants to, I think, kind of tell people about the cult. He wants like media attention to speak about the cult. Um, I'm not really sure why. I think he's, he's, so he's, he's a lone survivor of this cult and I think he kind of just wants to do something special because he feels special because he's the only one left. I'm not sure, but I find cults so weirdly fascinating, as do many other people. So, this could be brilliant. It could be terrible. We will see. I'm hoping it's good, because this would be really good if it's good, you know what I mean? Um, but again, I will be updating for you on this, because this could be this could be a good one. Hopefully. Okay, next. Now onto the books I got with my book vouchers. These are all from Waterstones. Um, minus one, but I'll get to that at the end. Right, so the first one I got, which I didn't even need to read the blurb, I just saw it, picked it up, put it in the basket, no questions asked, is Law by Alexandra Bracken. I, is that her name? I just pulled that from my memory because I've annoyingly put this sticker over her name, which doesn't look very nice. But um, I'm sure people have heard about this book because it's been everywhere. Um, it's about it's set in new york and it's about the uh zeus and the gods of mount olympus and i think zeus allows them to kind of be people for a day or a week or whatever it is and they have to walk the earth um and deal with all its monstrosities i'm sure and they are severely can i read um and they are hunted by the descendants of ancient bloodlines who want to kill a god because of the cred, I guess. Um, so this sounds really good. I really like, I like, I like a Greek god. Um, my my dad's family is Greek, so I feel so connected. Even though it, by the time it gets to me, is incredibly diluted the Greek line. But um, I studied classics at school. I studied Latin at school. Um, so I'm. There's a bit of a you know kind of warms my heart. I find it very interesting. Um, so. I'm excited to read this and people say it's really good so hopefully I won't be disappointed. I don't, I think controversially, I don't like this cover. I like the title because it's sort of gold and pretty. But I don't like the face. I think it looks, I don't know. I get this face look like marble and then the eye is meant to look like a person's eye but just not vibing with it. I also study art history, so I think the fact that it doesn't actually look like a statue, it doesn't actually look like marble is what bugs me. <laughs> Very pretentious issue, I know. But um, anyway, hopefully this will be right up my street and I'll like it as much as everyone else seems to love it. Next. Um, do you want next? I've got another one from the garden centre, but I got it right at the beginning of the month, so I've completely forgotten about it. But I couldn't, see, I couldn't believe it when I saw this, and I was very chuffed that I could get it for two ninety nine, and that's the bone season by Samantha Shannon. This is one of those ones that is everywhere. I think it's you know it's a bit a bit of a classic. By this point, everyone seems to have read it. I think there's a pretty strong divide of people that love it and people that just kind of don't like it at all. So it'll be interesting to see what side I fall under. Um, this is not normally the sort of book I'd read, but I've recently kind of started expanding what I'm reading a bit. So this will be a good place to start. I'm excited to read this um, and read another fantasy book, which I don't read very often at all. So I'll see how this goes. Um, updates to come. <laughs> right, back to my Waterstones haul. Um, the next one, I found it in like the discount bin. And I was very excited. I love a discount. I'm just drawn to the reduced section in every shop, in every supermarket. So I was really chuffed to see the reduced section in Waterstones. And this is called a Three Martini Lunch. As you can tell by the sticker, I got it for £3. Um, it's a huge hardback book, so that's brilliant. 
Um, so it's going to be better than if I paid full price for it already. Um, and this sort of thing is my kryptonite. I love things about writers and I love things about writers in New York. So that going that, that being said, my absolute guilty pleasure, but I don't feel guilty about it at all, um, is Sex and the City. So this, anything reminiscent of that, I go to like a moth, like a flame. Anyway, this is about three adults in the late 50s in New York. Um, and I think they work in publishing, but they're kind of a bit like stuck. They kind of feel, I think, a bit like a cog in a machine. Like they're not really doing anything that for, for their individual creativity and they want to make their mark, basically. Look at that cover. Oh, love it. Um, so hopefully I like this. I love just reading about New York. I love reading about the hustle and the bustle and the grit and the grime. I love a big city. I live in London. It's just where I belong. So hopefully that I get something from this, whether it's good characters, good plot, or just amazing setting. So hopefully there's something for me to love here. Right, next. Next on the pile is Small Pleasures by Claire Chambers. Um, I've seen this doing the rounds as well. This has been quite popular. I think it's quite new. Um, it's lovely. Look at the spray edges. Um, and this is about a journalist who gets approached one day by a woman who says that her daughter has um, become pregnant through uh, sort of like the immaculate conception thing, like 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 um, how Mary became pregnant with Christ. Um, virgin birth, the word I'm looking for there. So really, and this is based on a true story, I think. I think this actually happened. Um, I'm sure it's been embellished massively to make it more interesting for a whole novel rather than just an article in a newspaper. But um, um, I live in London, it's set in London, so hopefully there's some nice things I can read about my home city. Um, and I've heard it's really good, so hopefully it follows through. Right. Um, next is I Am Pilgrim. Oh, look at that. That looks lovely. Um, this is sort of picked up because I liked the cover and it's really nice and floppy, but also it sounds really intriguing. Um, again, this is quite a well-known book. Um, well, it's one of those ones that I'd heard about and I'd had people speak about, but I didn't really know what it was about. Um, so let me read the back. It says, a young woman murdered in a rundown Manhattan hotel. A father publicly beheaded in the blistering sun of Saudi Arabia. A man's eyes stolen from his living body as he leaves a secret Syrian research laboratory. Smouldering human remains on a mountainside in the, in the Hindu Kush. A plot to commit an appalling crime against humanity. One thread that binds them all. One man to take the journey. Pilgrim. That sounds fab. This is one of the ones I like reading during the summer where there's lots going on, lots of different uh, plot lines, lots of different characters to follow and then they all kind of come together at the end and you have that penny drop moment and you think, oh, that was so clever how they did that. Um, so hopefully this will be one to read once this rain that we've got at the moment packs it in and I can sit outside in my garden, uh, in the sun, getting a tan, and reading this lovely book and getting it covered in sun cream and ruining it as always happens but um yeah really looking forward to this i think it's really gripping um next i got uh the seven sisters by lisa and riley i've heard about this series people really like it um i just wanted something a bit kind of easy a bit like kind of summery something i could kind of just get my teeth into but doesn't require like for example, I think this one will require a lot of brain power and keeping track of what's going on and who said what and all these kind of quite intense characters who do intense things. Whereas this one, I think it's a bit more about love. I think it's a bit more um, about relationships between, I mean, there's, it says her, there's, there's six sisters. So I think it's a bit more about relationships like that and about, I mean, it's set in Lake Geneva, Brazil. Um, Paris. I think it's going to be really lovely to read and hopefully the description's really good. It's quite a good, it's quite a thick book but I have a feeling it's going to be one of those ones that you kind of get through a bit of a pace um, and I think there's 
I think this is quite a bulky series. I think there's quite a few of these. Um, so I'm hoping that if I like this, it'll be a good series that I can sort of get into when, you know, next time you go on holiday, you know, you've got some time where you can just sort of like chill and read. Um, you can pick up one of these. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, I noticed everyone, if these, things, these sort of books are not everyone's cup of tea and I wouldn't normally think it's my cup of tea, but I'm really trying to read things I wouldn't normally read um, at the moment. So hopefully I really kind of love this um, and I will be providing updates once I get round to reading this, probably in the next few months at some point. Next, I got the Illumination of Ursula Flight, and I'm actually reading this at the moment, as you can tell, I've literally just started it. Um, this sounds really good, but it sounds really good, hence why I bought it. Um, it's about a young woman called Ursula. Well, I say young woman, she was, it starts with her as a child. She was born under a comet shower. I don't know what they're called. Basically, there was a, there was a comet, and she was born on the night that it crossed London. Um, and it says in the back, Ursula Flight is a 17th century feminist hero for our post Me Too times, which sounds fabulous. So hopefully it satisfies that claim. The last book I got, I got this right at the start of the month um, and I ordered it from Amazon because it was like secondhand from Amazon because it went round to like pennies, I think. And I was like, I'm just going to get it. Um, so I think it was literally a couple of quid with postage. And that is The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. And this is not a summary sounding book. This is a book that should be read in October. But at the moment, the weather is so poor here. We've just got rain, 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 rain. The sky is constantly grey. So I might be reading this sooner than I expected to, just because the weather suits it at the moment. And I really want to read it because it sounds very good. Um, it's about a young woman who is exploring her father's library one night and she finds a stack of letters that are ominously addressed to my dear and unfortunate successor. And she decides to have a snoop. I personally wouldn't. I would think that does not sound like anything that's gonna end well get it out of my sight and pretend I've never seen it. Um, but says her discovery plunges her into a world she never dreamed of, a labyrinth where the secrets of her father's past and her mother's mysterious fate connect to an evil hidden in the depths of history. And I think that those depths of history have something to do with Vlad the Impaler. I think this is about vampires and all sorts of things like that, which sounds great. So hopefully this is really gripping. I haven't read a lot about vampires. I think I read the first Twilight book when I was like 10 and then my mum read it to make sure that it was appropriate and she discovered that it most certainly wasn't. Thinking about it now, I'm not sure if I've ever read anything else apart from half of the first Twilight book that is about vampires. So, and again, this is a lovely floppy book. It's a long one, I think. How many pages is this? Yeah, ooh, 700 pages, long one. But um, if it's good, I'll fly through it in within a week, I'd say. <laughs> Don't hold me to it. But um, yeah, another one I hope is really good. And hopefully you'll hear whether I think it's good or not in another video in the future. So that is my books. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get through all of these. I've just finished, like over the weekend, my um, degree. Completely. Uh, so hopefully I have loads of time for reading now. Yeah, let me know if you've read any of these. Let me know if you want to read any of these. Let me know if you've never heard of any of these and now want to read them. Um, and we can have a chat about it. And I will put my Twitter in the description. So come follow me on there and talk, talk to me there as well if you want to. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please come back and watch another one of my videos if it's if you fancy it, if you want to. If you see some potential in me, feel free to subscribe um, and come back and see me again soon. Bye everyone!